Oh, we have a very special guest on, Mr. Neil Horton, who uh, has lived in Jacksonville, has worked for Coors Light, Miller Light here, mm-hmm. and now he has moved on to a, an incredible job, which is president of the International Game Fish Association, and I'd like to welcome him, him in. Good morning, Neil. Good morning, Jeff. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic, man. I said, well, Kevin told me you were now the president of the IGFA. I'm like, well, daggum, did he... Did he get tired of selling beer or what? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good question. Uh, you know, I'm actually still pinching myself. I'm, it's a little hard to believe that that this has happened. I'm, Kevin knows that uh, uh, he and I have been friends for, I would say, probably 30 years. He show, he just uh, got done showing me, Neil, an old picture of, of you and your dad from his boat, what, 20-something years ago? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, got to be. Those, is that that big kingfish, yeah. Kevin? Yeah, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, my dad was living in St. Augustine and teaching at Flagler College, and uh, you know, he liked to get out and, and fish on the weekends and things. And and uh, he met Kevin, uh, and then eventually I met Kevin, and and uh, it's, we really had a a strong fishing and just personal relationship since then. But uh, yeah, I remember that fish well. I, that's got to be the biggest kingfish I ever caught. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that was that was. I'll never forget. That was off the gate station. Um, exactly. But, yep. Exactly. But, but here's the crazy thing. Kevin shows me the picture, and he tells me that you still wear the same daggum hat from that picture <laughs> that's got Rapala on it. That's right. You still my, got my it. Sister, I sure do. My <laughs> sister gave me that hat uh, before I met Kevin, actually. Um, and I think that I've caught something over seventy species wearing that hat. It's it's out of my house in Colorado now. It only goes out uh, for really serious offshore stuff. Um, I, I bet it. it I bet it smells really oh bad. Uh, it, it, it's you know I think it may have gone overboard on Kevin's boat more than one time, and he threatened to drive away. But I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't let him. <laughs> uh, all right. So so you uh, first of all, how, how in the world did you go from? you know, Coca-Cola to beer to IGFA. That it's, you know, follow, follow your heart and, uh, and be lucky, I guess. I, I, in the last few years, I, you know, I've actually left Miller Coors after about 10 years and I moved down to Houston, Texas to work for Cisco, the big food distributor. Uh, and they were, in, uh, trying to merge with us foods and that, uh, for a variety of reasons that have no place on a fishing show. That didn't ever happen. Um, and so, I, you know, I was down in South Texas. I was enjoying going down to Galveston, fishing Trinity Bay, catching reds and things. But I, I kind of felt like I was done with the corporate chapter of my life. And my wife and I, uh, Katie, bought a 60-acre place out in Colorado. And I was out there happily driving my tractor and uh, keeping an eye on my turkeys and mule deer and things. And literally on Twitter, uh, I have one feed that's nothing but fishing stuff. So the IGFA, the Bill Fish Report, uh, Florida uh, Fishing Journal, et cetera. And, and I, I saw that IGFA was looking for a new president. And I looked at Katie, and she looked at me like kind of half cockeyed and said, yep, you better, you better go for it. And so I, you know, I, I came down, met the guys in Florida with a number of our board members here and then some guys in California. And uh, to be honest, you know, it was kind of a, a swing for the fences kind of thing for me. And I thought, well, this will happen and it'll be fun or it won't. And I'll, I'll go back and, and ride around on my tractor some more. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess an old friend of mine always told me that luck is where preparation meets opportunity. That's and exactly right. Um, you know, I prepared in many ways by doing all these jobs in the corporate world. Uh, and a lot of my work was in communications and government relations and public policy, which, which you know, obviously you guys know dealing with fisheries issues. There's a lot of policy work there. So I had a fit there. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the opportunity really was that uh, IGFA uh, was looking for a new leader and and looking for someone who had kind of broader business skills. And so it's a, it's a good match. And I, I just feel so lucky to be able to represent an organization like this, which I don't know if you guys know this, but it was founded in 1939 at the American Museum of Natural History by their chief 
ichthyologist and uh, really some incredible names involved with it along the way. Uh, Hemingway was a vice president for uh, probably 30 years or so. So right. I, I a lot of rich that. history and, and, and just a, a really fun kind of platform to help people out who, who uh, fish for a living and people and uh, help conserve our, our resource. Well, that, that was kind of a lot of fun. That was kind of my main question. What role, I mean, what is the primary role of the International Game Fish Association? Because most people just associate associate that with fishing records, and that's it. That's right. That's right. I think you know we do maintain the world records for both uh, saltwater and freshwater. Uh, field and stream gave us the uh, the honor of doing the freshwater uh, uh, work back in the seventies when they turned over their record keeping process to us. Um, but, you know, we're a conservation-based recreational angling organization. If you look back at the founders, you know, they were going on expeditions around the world and, and catching, uh, you know, trophy fish for the purposes of scientific study. And, you know, they involved fishing clubs around the world because they knew these were the people that were out on the water every day, uh, seeing things, you know, with their own eyes and, you know, kind of participating in citizen science in terms of, uh, you know, tracking fish or, or, or getting uh, landing counts. Um, and that's always been part of the mission. So it's, it's conservation, uh, it's, it's ethics, you know, the ethics of angling, uh, which is where our rules and regulations come in. And then it's, um, you know, recognition of, of angling achievement, uh, great angling achievement, whether that's a world record uh, we have a, a variety of slam clubs for inshore and outshore and different freshwater and saltwater species. Uh, we have uh, trophy clubs, you know, 10-pound uh, bonefish club, thing, things like that. So there's a, you know, it's not just catching a world record that we recognize, but there's mm-hmm. a lot of uh, other things that we do to, to inspire anglers to get out there and have some fun and, and catch some fish and protect the resource. Uh, Kevin sent me an email, and and so uh, when I read the email, I'm like, okay, cool. You, you're going to have a IGFA annual fishing contest that's going to go worldwide. Is that right? That's right. That's right. How this do you is, have uh, a worldwide fishing contest? <laughs> you know, first of all, and are we all going to be catching the same fish or and competing against somebody across the globe? I mean, I, I just I'm curious yeah. what it's going to be. Well, I guess the first thing I'd say is it's a lot easier to have an international fishing contest now that we have the Internet, right? Because we're all connected. We can see what each other are doing <clears throat> over social media platforms very quickly. Um, if you look back at the history of IG- IGFA, we've had a lot of involvement with tournaments over the years. We've had a fishing contest. And, and, and honestly, I think we got away from that a little bit uh, in the last few years. So we wanted to reintroduce the annual fishing contest it is in by the way it starts tomorrow october 1st and it runs through the end of september next year uh it's a global contest it uh there are 74 species saltwater and freshwater species that are uh on the list of uh of eligible fish and we have three categories conventional fly and junior angler and basically Per, the person who catches the biggest fish in each of each categories, 74 species, uh, gets their name put into a drawing uh, to win a grand prize, uh, one of three trips, either Tropic Star Lodge in Panama, Vancudo Lodge in Costa Rica, mm. or Wilderness North in Canada. There's also lots of other prizes along the way, sunglasses from Costa, uh, products from Yeti, uh, things from Mustad, Rapala. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of smaller prizes along the way. And Jeff, to your to your question, yeah, you you can you can match rods against anyone around the world and and post your fish to, to our leaderboard. Um, and we'll be tracking that uh, throughout the year uh, and challenge you know using photos that people send us in for social media and that sort of thing. Uh, so we think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, obviously. We, we need to have a level playing field, so we want the fish to be caught by I, IGFA regulations, uh, which are simple and straightforward and can be found uh, on the website, uh, 
<clears throat> excuse me, uh, both for the contest and uh, on our IGFA.org site. Okay, so so one of the questions that I have, you know, because uh, Mike Kogan, who, by the way, guys, uh, we all know Mike Kogan. Neil, I, I don't know if you know Mike Kogan or not. He ran no, I don't. some of the uh, the fishing contests here, the, the Jack's Kayak Fishing Tournament, and he did 3-2-1 fish, a lot of online tournaments, and he had kind of a standard way of doing it, the, very very similar to the platform that you guys are doing right. it. You obviously are, are much bigger squ- scale, but you're talking right. about having people from across the globe to have the biggest fish in the same cat, or what, 74 different categories. So do you have a standard measuring tool they have to take pictures with? Uh, do you have to have IGFA certified scales? I mean, are, are these things that you have to have for the consistency of judging who has the biggest? Uh, yes. So it's a weight-based uh, contest. Uh, and the documentation that we need for each submission is a picture of the angler with the catch, a picture of the rod and reel used, uh, and a picture of the scale used. Uh, we do need uh, submissions to be weighed on a certified scale that's been certified within the past 12 months. If the scale has not been certified in the past 12 months, you can ch- recheck the scale and certify it as uh, quickly after your uh, after you've weighed your fish. Um, we have a list, by the way, of certified uh, scale locations around the world, uh, and we also, uh, you know. Um, can, so we can point you in that direction. Um, so you need to be prepared, right? We, we Our preference, uh, obviously, is that uh, as many fish as possible are caught and released. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of things that on, on the uh, list that are excellent table fare. So if you're taking the fish, that the weighing process is easier. Um, but, you know, like redfish tournaments, like uh, the, ba- the big bass tournaments, um, you know, there's going to be some... Uh, care and, and uh, attention necessary to, you know, keep a fish live and alive well and get them to an appropriate place to weigh and then get them back in the water. Um, we prefer that people take things that are, you know, uh, good table fare and, and, and try to get the rest back into the water as healthy as possible. All right, so a couple questions here, but we're yep. going to be a couple minutes away from a break. How, sure. do, how do people sign up and what does it cost them and where can they go to find all this out? So if they if, if you want to find out more about the program, just go to igfa.org, uh, and you'll see uh, buttons there that you can click for the fishing contest. Um, you will need to submit your catch on uh, the information about your catch uh, online through that through this that site. Um, you do need to be a member of the IGFA in order to submit a fish. Uh, you don't need to, you don't need to go buy an IGFA membership today and then and then go fishing. If you catch a fish and then you want to submit it, you can join and then submit your fish. And our basic uh, package is, is $40 uh, a year for a regular membership. Okay. That's fair. That's cool. That would be fun. I mean, uh, it uh, would be fun. And then so uh, uh, tracking the contest. Uh, right. You're going to have it on the website, IGFA's website, to where people can kind of say, hey, you know, how am I doing? That's right. There, There's a – uh, kind of a mini site that you go to off of uh, the main site and there is uh, a leaderboard you know we'll get submissions in and we'll take a we'll take a, a first look at them um, and if you know if we feel good about uh, the entry we're going to put that fish up there and then you'll know what the mark is so I encourage you guys to go out there and take your clients fishing and let's set some marks you know put some nice fish up there and give people something to shoot at yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's fun. Well, Neil, uh, thank you for spending the time. And, hey, congratulations, yeah, man. And you're living yeah. the dream now. Well, you know, I have to say, if it wasn't for Kevin and a lot of captains and guides and outfitters and mates around the world with a ton of patience, I would have never gotten to this place. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's good stuff, That is awesome, Neil. man. Uh, if we can ever do anything for you. Uh, please say the word. Uh, if you got any information news wise, please don't hesitate to to let Kevin know or me know, and love to have you on. Absolutely, I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, go catch him up tomorrow if you would. Thanks, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Bye, Neil.
Okay, Folks, uh, Mr. Bye. Neil Horton, president now president. Uh, of the International Game Fish Association, which is located in Dania Beach, Florida. And they have this new worldwide fishing tournament. All you got to do is be a member. Pretty cool. You guys going to do pr- that? I yeah, absolutely. Why not? I mean, pretty cool. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about some of the some of the uh, 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 Jeff, here's what uh, one of the most world class fisheries we have here, and you hear about it is Wahoo. Yeah. All those guys that Wahoo fish during during Paul's tournament, they should stuff, do this. They should do that, and, yeah. and, and and the Kingfish tournaments. Some of these guys that are catching these huge fish now, including us. I, I mean. Know. That, that would that, I, I've got to go look at the species. That's what I want. He said seventy four, right? Yes, seventy four species, and it's the tournament starts in fourteen hours and seventeen minutes. Yeah. I wonder if like sea trout. I bet sea trout's on there. We catch some some whopper sea trout around. Yeah, here. we do. Yeah, you know redfish. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they, how uh, you, you got to figure out how to weigh? I mean, you're right, Kirk. Some yeah. of the some of the redfish that you catch. All right, here here's a uh, species. Uh, that we would have in our area, amberjack. Oh yeah, barracuda, barracudas yep. on there. Uh, bluefish, cobia. Bluefish, now see we can hang in there with a the bluefish too. Jack Cravel, mahi. Okay, redfish, Jack Cravel, king mackerel, uh, spotted sea trout. Yep, there you go. Okay, weak sh- fish, weak fish, snook. Oh. Uh, help me out here, Kirk. What am I, I mean, what other ones do you think? Uh, I would and say black drum. Flounder. Okay. Flounder, black drum. Uh, did you see flounder? I, I didn't see black drum. Did you? I got a red drum. Let's see if we got a black drum. Bluefish. Uh, I've seen some giant bluefish. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, we catch some. I mean, we, we, we absolutely catch some whopper bluefish here. In April. In April. Yeah, yeah. there's flounder right there. Right there. Yeah, right. Bottom right. There you go. Yep. There oh, it is. Uh, 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 our, our, our offshore? No, that's our, halibut. Yeah. That's our Pacific off- halibut. I guarantee you we catch some of the largest Jack Cravel. Oh, there's no doubt. In, in the world right I, around Jacksonville. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, folks, uh, go to IGFA.org. And then what I did is on the top of the page, if you will go to the homepage of IGFA, and I believe it was uh, – re- let me make sure fish that cross the top of the page. You've got fish, and if you just put your uh, mouse pointing finger over fish, the very first thing down that comes up on the drop-down column is annual fishing contest, and it takes you to a separate page. That's got the leaderboard, the species, everything that's available cool. to take a look at. That's yeah, all. That's pretty spiffy. They're at yep. igfa.org. 